to all 83 of my subscribers and today I'm going to be taking you on a week in my life in college again this is the first week of school I'm a sophomore now most of my classes are online so but I'm going to take you through like kind of like activities how we're managing to still like hang out and it be safe it's going to be different than my last week in my life but it's still going to be fun nonetheless and I hope you enjoy watching. Hello, so it's Tuesday, second day of school. First day of some of my classes still, and I'm just waiting for my last class to start. Really enjoyed all my classes so far. Not had too many hiccups with them being online. Teachers are being really understanding about like technical issues. But other than that, it's been going pretty smoothly. Haven't done much other than schoolwork, but I am gonna show you really quickly how I like to keep myself organized and making sure that I know all my assignments and have it like really figured out. So I'll show you how to do that. All right, the week number that it is, so it's week one, first week of school. And then around the side, I write the days of the week and then I color code it. And then like yesterday was Monday, so I already crossed that one off. And so for each class, I write down the assignment and the due date. So it was, well, it will be due Wednesday the 26th. And then I highlight it in the color on the day that I want to get it done. So that was the only thing that I wanted to do yesterday. And then today, it's like a golden color. So I wanted to do a reading, got that done, crossed it off. And then I also wanted to do these. And I make one whenever I finish all the assignments on here. So technically like on Sunday, I'd need to make a new one for the next week. And a little bit is working ahead, getting into the next Tuesday already. But I just really like to get organized this way. It was something I tried out during quarantine and ended up really liking it. And as you can see, like I was gonna be doing this on Friday, but then I changed to do it on Saturday. And so like it shifts a little bit, but I just highlight over it with a different color and I know what I'm doing. And it just makes me feel really on top of it. And that way I can hold myself accountable for what I want to get done each day instead of just, I'm gonna work until I'm so tired. So if you are looking for a technique or anything, try this one out and let me know in the comments below. Also, when I write down the assignments, I pull up the syllabus every time and I pull up the syllabus for each class and then I go through and write down everything that's due for the upcoming week or next week if it's something like I need to already start working on. just got off work and I don't know if I mentioned it but I work in one of the residential buildings here on campus and then afterwards I went to the post office picked up the package which by the way they moved the post office it's now located in Graham Hall in case you were wondering but let's open this up oh it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be okay okay let's see oh, okay Anyways, it's by The Ordinary. It is a lactic acid 10% with HA, and I'm gonna use it to chemically exfoliate my face. I've been watching Skincare by Hiram, and he recommended this, so it was like a little over $6. So I'm gonna give it a go, and I'll let you guys know how I like it. Okay, so I just showered, and now I'm gonna be using the product. It's got like a little squeezer job. Okay, I think it'd be better if I just drop it on my face. 
has a weird smell. It's not the consistency I thought it would be. It's more watery. I thought it would be more gel-like. I'm not gonna see immediate results, I don't think. So, I'll let you know what I think. What do you do? We're on day four. How's your first four days been? They've been, they've been good. They've been busy. The days have been epic. And always remember that life is epic. Stay epic, everybody. Okay, so as I mentioned in my back to school haul video, I got a new MacBook and I haven't showed you yet. So here it is. So pretty and I have the little finger touch and oh, it's just so pretty. I like it so much. noon and I finished all my glasses for the week and I'm so excited. I feel like the first week feels so long just because you're getting back into the groove of it and I just like syllabus, class policy, getting to know people's names and like it's cool because it's like it's a fresh start and I enjoy it but it just feels so long to me and I love the first weekend after the first week of classes. I'm excited to have a little bit of a break. Also, I've gotten glasses since the last time you saw me. You see right here, there's a lot of construction going on. I believe that they are replacing the steam pipe or they're doing something with it to make the energy more efficient. So that's really good. The thing about the construction is it's taken up a whole lot of space. After the last clip you saw, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do for the day. So what I ended up doing was going to the student union, which is called Upchurch. And they have some places you can eat there. It's kind of like a mall food court, but there's like three places you can get food. So we have Panda Express, Farm Grill, and then we have Abu Han. The best way that I can explain Farm Grill, it's like an American food. So they have like burgers, grilled cheese, hot dogs curly fries, regular fries. And then Aubun Pan, I wanna say, is like a healthier option. It's kind of reminds me of like Panera. They have mac and cheese there, which is really good. Anyways, Wes and I got food at Farm Girl. I always get a cheeseburger with just American cheese. I'm pretty sure the people who work there know who I am, the girl who just gets the plain burger and water. <laughs> Anyways, after that, Wes and I ended up walking around campus and looking at a lot of our favorite things. You see those up there? You can get there if you try hard enough. That's the logo for the school. So is, so is that over there. And um, uh, you step on those. You point, point. You step on those. And that's where you play music. Swaggle. Um, shoot, what else? There's Joni. One of them. We got, what, three of them? That's where, that's where they play basketball. And that's I where think. they had the vice presidential debate in 2016. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Sweet, I didn't know that. The education building. I live back there. Used to. And that's the Can't tennis see it. And, and by the way, if you aren't on the tennis team, you cannot play there. Learn that the hard way. Well, so do you want to tell us some stuff about you? No. Uh, this semester I'm taking two history classes. Uh, sociology, communications. I'm taking education class. I'm taking Spanish. Three of them are online, two are in person, and one is hybrid. Uh, I mean, it's stupid, but what are you gonna do? You know, gotta say, I can't, I can't wrestle this year because, you know, COVID, that sucks. Do you think you're gonna be successful in your classes even though some of them are online? Yeah, because I'm successful at everything I do. You gotta have that confidence all the time. Stay confident, kids. There was a thing over there last year, like the middle of the night me and my friend went and hung out in, and it's gone now. I don't know what this is used for, but there's a stage. Um, what a, a skywalk over here? I think so, but like it was right here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a weird cult. What they do? I'll they just walk around at night. A video right now of a skywalk.
Frazier and Curry. They have different names. So this now. used to be Frazier and now it's John's Hall and this used to be Moss, but now no, it, it used, used to, to be Curry. Used to be now Curry, it's now it's Moss. And I'm not gonna tell you which one, but I work on one of these buildings. And it's really nice inside. I really like it. Our gym, we got a rock wall, we got an area to actually work out. We got shoot uh It's like ping pong tables. Yeah, in the, the very back we got ping pong rooms, ping pong tables, um we got a track going around the entire top of it. We got an indoor soccer room. We got, um, I think, three basketball courts. Good stuff. Good stuff. I've been in there. The view's nice. It was last year, but I, it was a nice view. Yeah, last um, year I went to the 10th floor of what was Frazier. Now it's John's. Um, it was really cool. You could see a lot of Farmville from up there. Oh yeah, so they just remodeled Old Curry, New Moss this past year. Did you ever find out what the smoke tower is? What's no, for? I never found just, out what that's for. It just sits there. We don't know what it is. Yeah, I have a video of someone saying that it was the Washington Monument. Four score and seven years ago, Farmville had the prototype for the Washington Monument. If you know where this is, bonus points to you if you do. They call this the Kai Tunnel. But, but do you know where it is? That's the sure, hint. Well, that's what you say now? I mean, it's the Kai Tunnel. So you guys, the Kai Tunnel, you're right. The next couple clips you're gonna see is just various clips of me eating. All I've been doing is eating out with friends and doing homework. The first place we went to is the pod, which is at Lancer Park, which is like a little bit of a walk from campus, but it's still like campus because it's long and managed and I ordered like a flatbread pizza it was really good and the next day we ate at Chick-fil-a and then I ate at farm girl again when I was working at the desk it was raining so hard people were coming in soaking wet and then I got to walk through that to get back to my room. And then my friends and I got to go food from D Hall, but then ate at Upchurch not really sure why we did this. I think some people got food at Upchurch and we just all wanted to eat together. And so that's what we did. They had breakfast at D Hall, y'all. It was so good. Like, I'm not a big D Hall fan, but it was really good. I got French toast sticks. I think I got eggs. I think I got tater tots. They also had homemade potato chips and I've been like craving that. So that was so delicious. Now this is epic. <laughs> I can't follow up. With that, um, my birthday's tomorrow. That's pretty epic. How old are you turning? 21. How are you gonna celebrate? Um, I might just hang out with these people again, and that'll probably be it. Sounds good. She says. Steve Holt. Hey, uh, do you guys like monkeys? Because one of my favorite monkeys is probably the spider monkey, you know, the Colombian one. They're really big, they're really spindly. I like their long arms. They look friendly, but I don't know if they're friendly. They're probably not that friendly. And then the last thing that I did was it was my suite mates. I don't know if I told you guys, I live in a single room in the Cox Wheeler community. And I have a suite mate and she and I are friends. Her name's Heather and it was her birthday yesterday and i made like a little thing to go in the bathroom just when she woke up like she had something birthday -y to look at and then i also got her a cake and candles i didn't get any footage but we all sat outside and ate we took a group picture she has like a little film camera so that was super fun that's all for 
this week's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. As always, if you see yourself or someone you know, leave a comment down below. You can subscribe. If you like this video, you're probably going to like the rest of them. Yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!